Hello and welcome to another Age of Empires video. Today we we're going to talk about the event The Mightiest Governor. Uh, so, this event has since seven stages. It's a seven day event and we'll just go over the stages and then some of the tricks I will be doing myself to get ahead in some of these stages. Um, so, on the first day of this event, uh, we are going to be tasked with taking down tribal raids and I would definitely recommend to complete every single one of these tasks uh, because you still get good rewards when you do. You might not want to push to get top 100 uh, depending on what the character is going to be. Uh, so if you decide not to push for top 100 uh, then I would still recommend that you push for each uh, part of this stage and receive at least the uh, rewards for completing the tasks. Now for this first mighty governor we do have two heroes. We have Justine the Great, Justinian the Great, and then we have Ashoka Metal. Uh, first place gets a hundred of each and then you could see the results down here and you have to get top 100 to get the medal for the commander so stage one uh, taking down tribals very simple very easy just go ahead and auto battle your guys uh, your army to take on uh, the tribal uh, the, the tribes um, if you go ahead and you click on the, uh, the plus right here next to my points, it will show you how many points you will receive per tribe. So, for example, if you could take up to, let's say you're doing level that gives you 150 points, you might want to do level 13 tribes instead of 16 to speed it up uh, be because you're going to get the same rewards for this event. Uh, so use up your stamina once your stamina is completely fit, uh, used. Go ahead and uh, claim your free stamina. If you want to push, you could go ahead and you could uh, use any stamina that you have acquired. Another thing to note is if you do rank, let's see if you do rank top uh, You do get uh, rewards per stage also, as you can see, a lot of Empire Coins, a lot of speed ups. So just keep that in mind if you do want to push a stage and receive the Empire Coins, that's also an option. Alright, uh, so what I would do is I would just go out at auto, uh, the auto battle and use up my stamina. and then just let that do its thing in the background. Next stage is going to be hero growth. So uh, upgrading your hero. Uh, one of the things I plan on doing is we did. Ju we are in a, an event called Giants Roar, which every time you take down on these uh, on the giant, on uh, the deputy, you receive uh, King Derek medals, and I've been collecting them. Currently have a hundred and seven, and I still have more. Uh, the event is still ongoing, so I still plan on receiving more medals. Uh, as you can see, I just de defeated a tribe and I'm still receiving the flags to summon the deputy and giants and receive possibly more medals. So We still have 24 hours in that event. I still plan on collecting the medals and on stage 2 of the Mightiest Governor, I plan on upgrading King Derek, uh, receiving my 
completing my tasks that way and possibly maybe push to complete that stage I do have I have been collecting all my uh, my cards and my recruitment cards uh, I'll be making a video of me opening everything so I'll probably do that on stage two of the event stage three gathering so my recommendation a couple hours before the stage starts send your guys out uh, in my case we do have uh, an alliance center in this case it's stone I would completely fill my guys up as much as I can with all the resources but I would make sure I don't send them back into my uh, my citadel I will max out my, uh, my my troops gather the maximum amount of resources before the event starts you know you calculate how many hours you need a couple hours 10 15 max out your guys throw them in a flag uh, keep them out of your city and then as soon as the event starts you would go ahead and return them to your city you would instantly uh, instantly you would uh, complete most of the tasks and then send your guys out to the Alliance Center if you do have the um, event I'm gonna check if we have it sometimes there's an event that will allow you to collect resources quicker if that event is active make sure you take advantage of that and just go ahead and collect as many resources as you can Stage five, um, forging. Yeah, so forging equipment will give you rewards, and then using your research uh, time and your speed ups. Now, what I plan to do is this kind of goes with stage five and stage uh, stage four and stage six are kind of gonna be. I'm gonna be working on them together, so I'm gonna hopefully start a building and a research. Uh, upgrade on stage four towards the end use my speed ups but leave enough time where uh, so leave pretty much 24 hours where the buildings finish upgrading on stage six that way I can you uh, kill two birds with one stone now if you are on the lower level and you don't have anything to upgrade you might have to wait for a different uh, mighty governor event when you could so just using your speed ups here, I probably won't try to get top uh, 100 on this stage. I'll just complete my uh, events. Uh, now, what I heard, stage five is where everything just kind of, if you're free to play or a low spender, you're pretty much out of this game, out of the Mightiest Governor. You're not going to receive or uh, score top 100. Pretty much, if you look at the uh, amount of rewards you get, most people are at units, uh, unit fours. That's 10 points per one unit. If you have whales that are recruiting level six, level seven, they're just gonna they're just gonna defeat this whole stage. And this stage gives you the most points. So defeating this stage whatever you get majority of your points for the whole event is going to be based off this stage so there's a high chance that if you're free to play and low to spend a low spender you're not really going to replace top 100 in the mighty governor so keep that in mind that's why I recommend just kind of completing the stages at least getting these rewards and possibly uh, at least unlocking the character in one of the uh, stages maybe you know top top 50 top 60 if you can push the other the other stages and then like I uh, mentioned power boost stage 6 this is where I plan to have my research and my building that I started two days ago complete and then just upgrade upgrade what I can kind of uh, for me and my plan is to kind of watch where I place in that stage and if I need to I'll use uh, resources to kind of speed up my upgrades and then the last stage is just a mixture of everything from one to six and again um, 
training, gathering, just everything is calculated in one day. And that's pretty much what the Mighty's Governor event is. It's a seven day event. It's a lot of grinding, uh, a lot of good loot. A lot of good loot, so uh, definitely make sure you take advantage of this event. Uh, collect your rewards, collect your recruitment cards, and just have fun. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like, and see you guys soon.